everyone and welcome to the Ghost Lairs Report. I'm with you as always Ryan here in Tokyo, Japan. Now as you know, uh, we have national elections coming up here recently in Japan. Uh, the date has been set for December 16th. Now interesting enough, a survey was sent around by a group known as the Rainbow Pride. They're based in uh, Ihimi Prefecture in the town of Matsuyama. They sent out a questionnaire to uh, several political parties in Japan on sexual minorities, especially the issue of gay rights here in Japan. Now, some of the uh, parties that responded included the, the um, Democratic Party of Japan, the current ruling party, New Komito, kind of a conservative party, Nihon Shinokai, that's the Japan Restoration Party, that's um, Hashimoto's party, they're kind of a hard right party, the Japanese Communist Party, and the Socialist Democratic Party. All of those parties responded, of, of course, uh, more steps need to be taken through legislation to provide more equal rights for the gay community here in Japan. But there was one party, the LDP, the Liberal Democratic Party, a party which has been in power in Japan for decades until very recently, a few years ago, when the Democratic Party of Japan finally took over power of the government. LDP huh, responded, and I quote, as follows. The need for measures to protect the human rights of sexual minorities, the LDP replied. Measures are necessary for people of gender identity disorder, but not for homosexuals. Wow. When I first read this, I was kind of shocked, considering the very nature of contemporary Japan. Now I, of course, live here in Tokyo. I can tell you for a fact, there's a very vibrant, active, homosexual community here in Japan, especially here in Tokyo. I work with people who are homosexual. Um, the guy that does my hair, he's a homosexual. He's the best hairdresser I've ever had, and I respect him as a man, because he's quite intelligent and very much the professional. And he, of course, has a lover, and they care very deeply about each other. But yet, the LDP feels all these hard-working Japanese people who just happen to have a sexual orientation that's not heterosexual do not need any more rights. Somehow, the LDP believes these people are treated completely equal in Japanese society. Now true, uh, the situation is a slightly better compared to what it is in America. I mean, only very recently in America could homosexuals serve in the military openly. That has been the norm in Japan for several decades. In fact, uh, several years ago, when the uh, Special Defense Force, that's what Japan refers to its military as, when they were asked about the issue of homosexuals serving openly in the Japanese military, they said, basically, that as long as the, someone's sexual orientation not interfere with uh, self-defense force daily operations and um, discipline, they really have no problem with it. What they're referring to is fights, uh, disorderly conduct, not following orders, things like that. So homosexuals here in Japan serve openly in the Japan's version of a military. But what the problem is in Japan is um, inheritance rights and same-sex marriages. In Japan, same-sex marriage is illegal. You can't do that. But they don't say it's illegal. They simply um, will not issue a marriage license to someone 
unless your partner is of a different sex. So the law is very vague on it. They say anyone get married. But um, if you go down to the courthouse or city hall in Japan and apply for a marriage license and your um, partner is the same sex, they're going to deny it. They're not going to let you do that. Okay, so there's no law that says you can't get married by same sex. But then again, I know of no city hall in Japan anywhere that would sign off on that. All right? There's also the issue of discrimination in Japan. Now, you should know that um, the only type of anti-discrimination laws in Japan are gender. All right? uh, and that those anti-discrimination laws mostly apply to women. And those laws have had a massive positive effect socially in Japan. Uh, in Japan, it's not uncommon to see women in high, power, high positions of power, especially in law enforcement. There's lots of female judges and female prosecutors in Japan. As well as in the business world, you'd be surprised the stereotype of the OL or office lady in Japan has basically been destroyed. And women serve in management and women take a leading role very often. Now, there's still problems. It's not a perfect deal yet, but it's amazingly head and shoulders above almost every other country in Asia. So you can see these anti-discrimination laws that Japan does have. It's had a huge positive effect socially. But for the most part, Japan does not have a lot of anti-discrimination laws. And I think this is what the point of this uh, group was trying to show. Support for this. That, for example, if you are any type of minority, basically you're not native-born Japanese, life can be pretty rough for you here. I've experienced it myself. Uh, so there is an extreme need for not only um, laws to protect homosexuals and gays and lesbians, but laws to protect racial minorities in Japan. Uh, you, I've seen signs at certain restaurants and bars that will say no foreigners allowed. Which basically means anyone who's not Japanese can kiss off. That's blatant racism. And that's a problem in Japan. And if you have a lover and it's the same sex and they die, they get no inheritance rights. And you can't tie your taxes together. And it makes life very difficult. So yeah. The LDP, the party that may very well take over the government in this next upcoming election, does not support gay rights. They feel it's not an issue in Japan. What I can do very clearly, it's a major issue. Um, if you're open in, at the workplace in Japan, you can do that here. And they won't fire you for that. But you will be discriminated against as, not, as being not one of the boys. As not being manly enough. And you will be ridiculed at work. I've heard plenty of stories of it. There is a need here. And this party, the LDP, is not the party that's going to support gay rights. So, as always, this is me here, Ryan, in Japan. Until next time, check it out.